What is the true meaning of treasure? Overflowing riches, gold, jewels in a treasure chest hidden somewhere for you to find, unreachable and captivating. So often we find ourselves wanting all the precious things we can't have, things we shouldn't have. We spend so much time hunting for treasure, but sometimes we fail to see that it's all around us. Davao, one of the largest and multicultural regions in the Philippines, home to almost 6 million Davaoenos, known for magnificent sceneries of both land and water and hailed as the fruit basket of the Philippines with the many colorful fruits that adorn the land. Davao is the crown jewel of Mindanao, and right at the center, nestled between its arms, is an even greater treasure. Davao Gulf. Davao Gulf is surrounded by all five provinces of Davao Region. Davao Oriental, Davao del Sur, Davao Occidental, Davao de Oro, and Davao del Norte. Each coast is beautiful as the other and each province relying on the Gulf for sustenance. The Gulf is regarded as one of the most diverse cetacean habitats in the nation, being home for at least 10 species of toothed whales and dolphins, such as sperm whales and beaked whales. Whale sharks and sea cows are also seen frequently in the Gulf. But this wonderful marine wonderland is not as treasured as we'd want it to be. The body of water that feeds the whole region is also plagued with threats by the same people it sustains and its beauty remains one of the most underrated in Davao. In an effort to preserve and restore Davao's most prized jewel, join me in diving the most wonderful reefs, meet the people who rely on the Gulf, and together, let's open our eyes and give Davao Gulf the love and attention it most certainly deserves. Lalim na habang may hininga Ika'y mamamangha sa sari-saring buhay Bahagari ay nalusaw kumapit sa isda Kaya pala tingkad ng kulay niya Kumigit na at kumigit ng alahas na buhay Kaya mahanan umaabaw sa ila our journey begins with a visit to the most popular tourist dive spot in Davao Gulf, the Coral Garden. It is a 5-kilometer long strip of corals that is roughly around 15 minutes away from Davao City. We partnered with one of the top dive shops in the city to accompany us in our trip, Skubakwa Dive Davao. And here, we met the dive instructor, Ismael Harso, who has been diving all over Davao Gulf for 24 years. We met up at his shop, walked to Santa Ana Wharf, and finally boarded the small boat and into the arms of the great big blue. Ang Coral Garden Magud is very accessible. Mm. So that's why um daghan gyud og naga sa Coral Garden mm. or Talikod Island, but daghan tag mga dive spots uh, at the back of the island. Um, for example, Ligid Island, mm -hmm. uh, Kanibad. Mm -hmm. So, lahi po ang coral formation nito. And, and then, medyo preserved pa. So, now we will be having the orientation for the uh, scuba diving. We're gonna hear it from the dive instructor, um, Sir Ismail Sermaye. And in a while, we're, be, we're gonna be arriving at Coral Garden. Kasi ang pupuntahan natin ngayon, pupunta tayo sa talikod. And we mag-stop over tayo sa Coral Garden, which is a 5-kilometer long coral reef. So, dun tayo mag-dive una.
Ngayon, uh, I will die of Carl Garden and uh, I show you and I'd like to see also what actually is below. That's anong mukha ng Coral Garden. I've actually dived this before, but I was in grade school, so uh, it may look significantly different. So let's do this. Okay, first up, Coral Garden, and um, I have here my dive master. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> To the world. Sir Maeng. Welcome to my Sir Maeng. Welcome to my office, Hana. Okay. Okay. Lalim na office mo. <laughs> so we're gonna go down and we're gonna see what's down there and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's do it. The coral garden, indeed, is a garden. Being underwater, it almost felt like I was entering a new world. A colorful world filled with fishes of different kinds. There were clownfish, blue and yellow tanks, and corals of different colors. But the more time I spent underwater, the more I noticed how some corals are slowly turning white, and there were also plastic wrappers here and there. Rich pa man siya, pero lahi yun katong na time. So meaning na ay changes na ay depletion sa ato ang marine biodiversity. Pero naamang goy mga um, dynamite fishing gihapon nga activities. So mo na nga big factor kay kana damage sa ato ang corals na especially corals gyud. O nga ang industrialization it's good pero that also cause ano kaning damage. Ah uh, tapos ko lang mong dive. Um, I spend about like Lebat ako minutes, mga 20 minutes probably, or it felt longer than that probably. But yeah, <sighs> sobrang sobrang ganda pa rin ng coral garden. Um, I can't remember really that much of it based on the last time I dove here, which was like years ago. But there's so many many creatures, so many corals. Alam ko nakita ng Nemo, clownfish, and uh, yung mga isla na, na nakita ko lang sa TV. Eh, nakita ko kanina and it was just so so nice to be able to go there to their world um, it's like it's like going into another planet and it's really nice it's such a nice experience and I really had so much fun industrialization truly can bring harm to the marine life we should be protecting after a coral garden dive I also got the chance to chat with Karsten Schroeder a German biologist who has lived in the Philippines for more than 20 years and who has been working in the agricultural sector for the food security and for the environmental protection of small communities and of the people. I must say I enjoyed a lot uh, looking into the entire scenery, the coral garden, yeah, the name speaks for itself. There are plenty of uh, hard corals to be found, some uh, soft corals as well, some other invertebrates. I must say you see plenty of fish. But that should not blind us also that uh, some fish in the food chain are probably underrepresented. In, in simple words, they, they are missing because they have been uh, fished out. And uh, yeah, the challenge is to bring them back to have a balanced ecosystem. As we explore more of the richness of Davao Gulf, we now travel to another part of the Gulf that is being threatened by industrialization in a growing economy. Paradise Reef. We are now here at Paradise Resort and now we are gonna have a quick look at the reefs that can be found here. With us is Kuya Alvin. Kuya Alvin. And together we're gonna swim towards the nearest coral reef that we can see and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Habang ako'y mga transactions sa Davao, uh, na ako dari tapos, uh, 
para mawala ang stress, gatan ang upog corals, mga isda. Happy ko every time na mag free dive ko, mag tanaw sa ano, ilalong sa dagat. Ah, uh, mga nag-ingon na ano, patay ang coral reef diri sa paradise. Wala mo gud sila nakakita kung unsa kanindot. Dapat mo uban sila or maglaag sila diri para makita nila kung unsa kanindot ang nasa ilaw. Paradise Reef is a 300-meter coral system near a well-known resort in Samal Island with the same name. Recently, the existence of said reef has been under fire. Are the corals of Paradise Reef dead? Well, here's what we found. in the sense that aside from the aside from the fact that it's very near Davao or and near the shore it's so diverse in terms of the kinds of corals you see in terms of the clam the giant clams in terms of the fish uh, I have even in terms of the sea snakes so uh, this was my first time to encounter a really um, rich marine environment uh, in an area where normally I wouldn't expect. Our journey takes us to the southeastern side of Mindanao, Davao's very own beach and surf paradise, Mati City. Known for its pristine Dahikan Beach, Mati City is a go-to tourist destination. But not a lot of people know that fishermen from all over Mindanao anchor themselves to one of Mati's coastal barangay, Barangay Makambol. So we are now here at Barangay Makambol. This is a barangay in Mati City where they have uh, the ocean right in front of them. And what's great about this is this is where uh, basically where fishing boats anchor themselves. So uh, there are a lot of fishing boats here and I've heard that they actually go out into the sea, like into the open sea for like a month and they, they just come here to like anchor their boats if there are typhoons and then if they have like fish production, if meron sila mga ista, di nadala nila dito sa barangay Makambol at yung iba naman sa ibang parts ng Mati at yung iba naman, yung mga boat dito, mostly they're from Jensen. The boats, the fishing boats are actually quite far from the shore so medyo malayo-layo pa sa shore yung mga boats so ngayon, uh, sasakay tayo sasakay tayo sa maliit na bangka para makapunta tayo sa isang fishing boat may makakausap tayo ng mga mga mangis na so we can ask them a couple of questions about their life in the sea Here is where I met Kuya Junjun who has been fishing for 15 years One lang, kaning kuha sa kong kanan oh, kanang fisting ba Kay tungod lagi sa kapit o sa una Kay namagos kaliso doon niya Kay pag-graduate ako sa school Wala namin lang kaya Pais kumila sa kuha Na-try na lang ug Uban-uban lagi daw Nga moto nga Kaluyan man po sa akong pagpanikamot Pagkugi Murad na kanahan naman po po Kay makain ka manggit ka Kuwarta lang po Kanang ginatawa ko po Ato na Basta mo na Parilis mo na Nga dito sa sa gawas Like yellow pin di ba O mga yellow pin Dagko Say malasugi Pindi, dahan, dahan niya po ka ng klase-klase. Basta kayong nga mahalin ng isda, muna mo yung nagkukha. Kuya Junjun shared that most of his catch comes from Davao Gulf. Though he is from Jensan, he said that the Moro Gulf's resources, which used to be a tuna fishing ground, has depleted through the years. And most of the tuna catch from his fellow fishermen are actually from Davao Gulf. Kuya Junjun and his team of fishermen usually anchor at Mati's Pujada Bay to keep themselves safe if the waters are too rocky in Davao Gulf. Kuya Junjun is just one of the many people who rely on the Gulf for their living and survival. And as a result, 
Whatever happens to the gulf will definitely directly affect him and his loved ones. Therefore, it comes down to each one of us to make sure that this prized gem is restored and preserved to its former glory. This goal takes us back a little bit closer to home, in Davao City's side of Davao Gulf. Davao City is made up of many coastal barangays. One of them is Barangay Vicente Hizon Senor. Way back when I was uh, high school or grade six, supposed to be bag spearfish po dito. Ah, uh, na ako dito sa coral dito sa pilit. Then di kaya bumaw lang seagrass, ang mga crabs na katong tao ng kumong kumong, katong mga hornfish na kan kayo, butete, ng ano katong peste pa na siya tungo na eh. Oh, kasi tungo enjoy ko. Eh, Imis panaw na ako, pilit na lang. Eh, mo mo gihapon pa panaw na ako, ma enjoy lang mong kung ano niya. Na po may pagkaon sa balay. Barangay Hizon has marine protected areas, which signifies the marine biodiversity of the waters beyond the shoreline. However, despite this, the waters of Hizon has also faced a great decline in the past years, a problem that the Barangay Council has continually tried to remedy in order to restore their coasts and preserve it for the people who rely on the ocean for their livelihood. It was 2013-14, my nana. Oh, di to minag start yun ogo, nag start o tima pato sa barangay council at dahil at dahil nila kapitan at dahil at that time together with the people, the fisher folks, community dere. So na tina bangay me together with the city agriculture and for WWF. So nagbunga mong gitpod kaya namigit niya tayo mga service at that time. Taas yun ang fish count, tapos ang mga corals na identified itong una nga nga dugmok na revived. Coastal barangay na ito, naingon na, nakog dyan sa nga medyo in the next 15-10 years katong gina-anticipate nila nga magkaroon ng shortage sa itong ano. Medyo maka-alibyo-alibyo, para naman po na siya sa itong ano. Kung sir, yung ibang taas sa coastal barangay, so atong i-develop ang coastal area kay para po mahatagan po o livelihood no ng mga programs ang ato ang mga lumulupyo dito so sa karon na atay kanang Fisher Fox Association no so gitagaan na po dato sila og gigayon nga kanang mga seminars pagkakuha po sila ng knowledge about unsa nang ilang gi kuan diha sa kadagatan we are also preserving the corals sa ato ang EPA na at least secluded siya ba? Meaning, ang dili lang ka basta mangisda diha sa sulod because matugaw ang pagkatulog sa itong mga corals o itong mga isda. In fact, for many years na wala gin na wala gin mini allow nga na yung mangisda sulod sa amo ang EPA. Sa gawas lang sila. Daghan gihapon sila makuha kay mo gawas mo yun ang isda kung gihapon. Pagsisit 
Without my love for the ocean, I would be long gone by now. It's some kind of devotion that brings me down. That without my love for the ocean. I will be no one. 